Welcome to my Cisco's Routing and Switching Essentials Lab Review. In this video, we're looking at Lab 93212, Configuring Extended ACL Scenario 3. So, we want to configure a named ACL called ACL. It's going to do these particular tasks. For scoring purposes in Packet Tracer, we have to do them in the specific order. This specific order. So without further ado, let's go ahead and hop on our router and get started. Get to our global configuration mode terminal. All right, we are doing an IP access list extended. We're calling it ACL. So what's the command to begin? Because we're doing a named ACL, it will be IP access list extended, then the name. Again, if you're not sure, you can question mark all of this out. So we want to do a statement that denies access to PC1 to server 1 just for HTTP. Deny TCP a single host source to a single host destination port 80 because again we're doing it just like this host one source to destination host that's why we got that next we want to block the same host accessing port 443 Pretty much the same command, except we're changing the port. Again, it's important to realize source, destination, and what port we're blocking. We also want to deny access from PC1 to server 2. Same source, different destination. And again, same command, but we're blocking port 443. Because again, we're blocking HTTP and HTTPS. All right, so next we're going to be blocking just port 21. So, port 21. Here's the IP address for server 1. Here's the IP address for server 2. And all we're doing is we're going through and we're blocking specific ports as deemed required to us. So we want to deny the ability to ping. Oh, actually, I messed up because this is for PC2, not PC1. So when that happens... You go back and you add the word no in front of it. Because that is the correct command for PC1, not PC2. There we go for PC2. Again, verify the uh, host IP address for the source and the destination. Next, we're blocking PC2 to server 2 as well. Again, pay attention to the source and destination addresses. Nope. Oh. 21. Hit enter. Make sure to match the addresses up in the chart. Now we're going to deny ICMP from PC3 to both server 1 and server 2. Deny protocol ICMP source host PC3 destination server 1. 
Notice here we don't have to give it a port because we're not. ICMP really doesn't use a port per se, but it's a protocol ICMP. We're going to block the same one, but for server two. Again, pay attention to the IP addresses so we know exactly what we're blocking. So that's both of those. We want to permit all other traffic, so permit IP, any source, any destination. So if it does not match any of the deny statements at the beginning, it will match this statement. Last thing we have to do is we need to apply it to our gigabit interface. Traffic's to be filtered depending on the selective route. Apply the ACL to the correct interface. What are the commands to apply the ACL to the correct interface and in the correct direction? Well, first thing I want to do is I want to lower this. I want to look at the router. Happens to be that this guy right here is gigabit uh, zero 01. So int sorry, zero zero, not gig one. And we actually want to apply the access group, IP access group, ACL. Do we want it coming into the interface or leaving the interface? And at least for this example, we can apply it as it goes into the router. That way, we can block it before it gets into the router. That way, the router doesn't have to process it. All right, so now let's go ahead. Let's move on to step part two, step two. That's part of the verification. Access the website of server one and server two from PC one. All right, the first protocol is HTTP. Request timed out. What about HTTPS? Request also timed out. What about the server two? Same thing, times out. What about HTTPS? same thing they all should time out because again we block all of that traffic all right let's hop over to on pc1 let's actually go to our command prompt ftp ip address is server one notice it does let us in Password and username of over Cisco. So now let's try to connect to server two. And again, it does work. I'm going to go ahead and quit. All right, so let's try pinging server one and server two from PC one. Ping. And it works there. I'll ping PC2, or sorry, server 2. And again, it does work. So we're going to do the same steps on PC2 and PC3. Web browser. So notice HTTP works. HTTPS works. HTTP for server 2 works. And HTTP for server 2 works. FTP to server 1. Should not work. FTP. The server 2 should not work. Ping, however, should work. 
ping server 2 and it does work. Moving on to PC3, we've only blocked ICMP for PC3, so web browser should work. All right, so HTTP and HTTPS works. FTP should work. Oh, let's try that again. Cisco. Cisco. I fat finger the password. <laughs> We're going to FTP to server 2 as well. I uh, fat fingered the password again. Cisco. Cisco. So FTP works. Ping, however, should not work. Because again, step three, part one, step three, we denied everything. Or we denied ICMP. So here we denied HTTP and HTTPS. Here we denied FTP. Here we denied ICMP. And respectively, the different components worked when they were supposed to. Checking the results. We have everything finished. Thank you.